So in this video we'll be going over the process of setting up a network connection between your computer and the MyCNC controller. And um, I am going to be doing this on a Windows 10 machine with a fresh installation of MyCNC. And um, the important thing to note here is that the uh, MyCNC application as it is right now cannot currently connect to the controller. So that's going to be signified by this controller configuration progress window with a CNC control not connected pop up on your main screen after you load the MyCNC software. And all that means is that um, the software can't establish a connection uh, despite you having already uh, connected the uh, controller and the computer with an Ethernet cord, for example. And that's entirely possible simply because the controller has a static IP address and uh, it must be specified within the MyCNC software, first of all. And second of all, the computer must be in the same subnet as the controller. So those are the two important things that you have to remember. And um, Unless both of those conditions are met, you will not be able to establish a connection between your computer and the MyCNC controller that you have connected. So first of all, we have to check uh, the controller IP address, and that can be done through our uh, settings network tab. And here I have the 192.168.0.78 controller IP address, which is our default IP address for our MyCNC controllers. So you should have this particular address unless you have somehow manually changed the uh, controller IP address yourself. You should press the Save Configuration button. And uh, here, since the uh, window still hasn't disappeared, we can tell that the connection still hasn't been established. So we have the correct controller IP address but what's likely is that we don't have the correct computer IP address since the window is still on the screen and there is no connection. And at this point, uh, we have to remember that our controller IP address is 192.168.0.78 and uh, to be in the same subnet, effectively what that means is uh, you have to have for the computer IP address the same three digits as the controller IP address and the fourth digit must be different so you can't have the exact same IP address but it has to have the same first three digits so 192.168.0 and in order to check whether that's the case and potentially change that computer IP address we can go into our network settings so here I'm just going to go network properties but you can reach it through your control panel etc however you'd like it's typically located in control panel control panel items and network and sharing center and uh, here you can see my settings these can look a little different on Windows 7 versus Windows 10 uh, but if we go into the change adapter settings window that should be pretty much the same across uh, both Windows 7 and Windows 10, so that's what I'm going to be doing. And uh, what you can see here is that I have um, three network connections, so two Ethernet connections and one Wi-Fi. So my Wi-Fi is just my regular intranet. Uh, then I have uh, Ethernet 1, which is disconnected. I don't have a cable for that. And then I have Ethernet 2, so that's clearly my Ethernet connection to the controller. And uh, that's the one that's currently giving me trouble. It's not allowing me to connect. So I click on that, and I would like to check the IP address for my computer. And in order to do this, I can go into details, and what I can see here is that my uh, IPv4 is 169.254.121.182. So it's completely different. It's not in the same subnet at all and uh, we would like to cha change that to be uh, somewhere along the lines of the 192.168.0.78 uh, uh, and uh, to do this we can uh, click the properties button and we can see that 
I currently have an option uh, to obtain an IP address automatically, and I have that option selected. So what that means is we have a DHCP client, and that's going to give us a dynamic IP address. And we don't want that. We would just like a static IP address, so we will select an IP address, 192.168.0, that's the same subnet, and uh, for the last digit, we will select some other digit. So in this case, I will select 100, just an example. You can select maybe 50 or maybe um, 80, but for the purposes of this exercise, we'll select 100. Then our subnet mask is correct, and our default gateway, we don't need that uh, at the moment, so we're just going to leave it blank. And um, we double check all this information. Um, again, just important things to remember, it's got to be in the same subnet, but it's got to be unique. We press OK. We uh, close these settings. And now we can head back to our MyCNC application and see if anything has changed. And as soon as we open it, we can see that the uh, message that we had on the screen is now gone. Uh, so that should already indicate that something has changed. If we go back into network and we look at the UPD message counter, so that's the messages that the computer is sending to the controller, we can see that that number is going up. We don't have, um, uh, we don't have a uh, static message counter anymore. Uh, we, some, we actually have some sort of a communication. And if we go into our diagnostics, we can toggle some outputs. We can just physically check if the uh, computer is now connected. Or we can maybe jog. We can see if the numbers on the main screen change. Again, none of that is possible unless you have established communication with your controller. OK, so at this point, let's check if this holds, right? We are going to be closing the application and we will be just reopening that because we don't want to set this uh, IP address every time we open the application. So here we're just opening up my CNC again and uh, you are going to have this controller configuration progress window at the start of your uh, uh, startup process simply because the computer is establishing a connection and uh, that's going to uh, keep going for a little while. But at the end, it should disappear because we have indeed established a connection and the computer is now ready to talk to the uh, controller, to the MyCNC controller. And that should be happening any second now. There, there it is. And uh, we can double check that uh, we can jog, we can toggle some outputs perhaps, and when we're satisfied, we can uh, be sure that our network communication has been established. And as you can see, we have a message counter that's going up continuously. And that's about it for the uh, basic network setup. Thank you for watching.